Today's knife review is the CRKT Leong Ma design number no. 5. I think it's a little cracker. 37 quid, brilliant value for money. Let's get to the desktop and have a closer look. Okay, so here we have the CRKT Leong Ma design number no. 5. This is uh, a little bit unusual. It's a slip joint, but there's no back spring. Well, instead, the blade is held open by ball detents. I've read that there's two, which would make sense, one on either side of the blade, but I haven't taken it apart, so I don't know that for sure. There is a stop 90 degrees, and then it clicks in fully open. Compared to a back spring, it's very, very easy to move the blade out of the fully open position. However, you can see there is quite a big finger choil here and the curve runs from the handle into the same shape on the blade. And if you're holding that firmly with your finger right behind the blade, you can disengage a little bit but there shouldn't be any reason for it to close on you. The specs on this knife, it's six and a half inches open, 165 millimeters. Closed it's three and three quarter inches or 95 millimeters. Weighs three and a half ounces, 99 grams. The blade is two and three quarter inches, 69 millimeters. It's four millimeters thick. And it's made from 8CR14 MOV at 58 to 59 Rockwell. So it's not a high tech steel, but it's a very common steel, it takes a good edge, it's easy to sharpen. As you can see, we've got quite um, an elaborate design on the blade. We've got a milled slot either side there with a matte finish inside. We've got a hollow grind with a terminal bevel and then there's this swedge at the top which comes down to meet the top of the hollow grind. We've got jimping on the beginning of the blade and the end of the handle and rather than an upswept thumb ramp it's a little downwards cut out. It sits very well in the hand. You have these two um, Trials here, and for me, I just get a four finger grip. Quite comfortable. The G10 scales are very smooth. In appearance, they have a nice texture, but it's so fine it doesn't contribute anything to the grip. Having said that, with the shape of the handle, I think you get a good enough grip anyway. There is a lanyard on the end. Um, I quite like lanyards in principle, but this particular one doesn't add anything practical and it's very plain, it isn't decorative in my opinion. So I think what we'll do is we'll take a quick size comparison with the Victorinox Spartan copy and then we'll get rid of this lanyard because it's bugging me. It just, it was tied round the end standoff. It wasn't removable and refittable. So with the open frame construction, we've got three standoffs there, and then the pivot hardware and a stop pin that is hidden on the outside. The belt clip is deep carry, although it's one position only. On the CRKT website, they're showing a model with two positions. Both tip up, but here, the one on the 
CRKT website has a recess machined in and a hole for the screw. But on this model it's just single position. I like this deep carry pocket clip. It's the first one where I'd be tempted to actually use it. And I'll just show you how that looks now. So how does this perform? I think this is very promising as uh, an everyday utility knife. I think it's a very good looking knife. And with the blade being less than three inches and non-locking, I'm not going to say it's legal in the UK. It's certainly not illegal. But you need to bear in mind that the principle of it being a sub three inch slip joint isn't going to get you out of trouble in all circumstances. Under the Criminal Justice Act 1988 there is a specific offence of carrying a bladed or pointed object on school premises and the th sub three inch folding knife is not a get out. You have to demonstrate you've got a valid reason for carrying it. So if you're a plumber or an electrician or a carpet fitter you may well be able to explain why you have a knife on or about your person. If you're a supply teacher and you're just standing in for a couple of piano lessons then you've got no chance. So be careful. Now the edge, as I said the 8CR14MOV I think it's a good ordinary everyday steel. As you can see that is lovely and sharp. But for an everyday utility knife it needs to do a bit more than that. And we need to be sure that the fact it's a hollow grind isn't going to give us any obstructions. If the blade was thicker than four inches then this shoulder would be so severe I think it would affect its cutting ability. But let's have a look at a couple of utility tasks and see how it performs. So there we have it. I think it's a handsome knife. The fit and finish is flawless. It's an interesting design with the ball detents instead of the back spring. I think it's well worth the money. So I'll show you some close-ups and you can see what you think. Thanks for watching.